Last week we worked on my friend's WRX installing some new white LED headlights. For as simple of an installation as it was, it made a big difference. This week we are going to be installing a new ducktail wing to the back of his car. Originally it has a small little wing that looks okay from factory, but it is in much dire need of an upgrade. Before we get started though, I absolutely need to talk to you guys about the coldest water bottles. They sent me out a bottle to try out and I've been loving it so far. The intent was made for it to hold cold water, which they do quite well, but honestly I'm a coffee drinker, and it's impressed me with how long they've been able to keep the coffee piping hot over time. So go check out the top two links in the description below to get one for yourself. And as a hint, the top link is a giveaway, so you might want to go ahead and get entered for that. Now, back to the video. The first thing that we need to do is pop open the trunk. The inside is a carpet covering that we need to get off in order to access the two bolts holding on the wing. There are plastic clips that are holding the carpet trim piece on, but all you need to do in order to get them off is pop out the center parts with a flathead screwdriver, then pull the clips out. From there you unscrew the two 8mm bolts, then pull off the wing. It'll take some force to get it off as it's still being held on by the tape from factory. The wing that we're replacing it with is a larger ducktail wing. Ducktail wings are a great upgrade if you're looking for a more aggressive look without having to spend too much money or go way over the top. The best part about this wing specifically was that it came pre-painted, so we didn't have to run a wing that doesn't match the car or have to pay to get it painted to match, which is a huge plus. I put the link to the wing down in the description below. Also, since I don't think I mentioned it in the light video or when we painted the WRX's wheels, this car belongs to my friend Austin, so go give him a follow on Instagram to show your support. Also, let him know in the comments what mod he should do next. I'm pushing for a full wide body kit, but you know, that's just me. The wing came with 3M tape to put it on, but it also came with three bolts. The first thing that we're going to do is apply the double sided tape to the underside of the wing. Another cool part about this specific wing was that the 3M tape came pre-cut into two pieces to run along the top and the bottom of the wing. There was just enough extra to put on the sides as well for a little extra hole. Next we remove the adhesive protector from the other side of the tape and get it ready to mount. Now you can install a wing held on solely by 3M tape, which is what I did when installing the wing here on this FRS. It holds up just fine, but having a mechanical bond with the bolts gives up a lot more peace of mind. When mounting the wing, make sure to be checking the underside for where the bolts will screw in before you fully press the taped wing into position. Once you find the right spot, it's as simple as screwing in the three bolts to complete the installation. Once the wing is fully mounted, all that's left to do is reinstall the carpet from the trunk lid, pop in the plastic clips, and you're all set to go.